Now we're going to test out Bioshock Infinite on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500 with SLI dual graphics card NVIDIA GT650M graphics. And we'll take a look at our settings. So now we're going to try very high for our graphics settings. Ultra, no good. We only got 20 frames per second, so we're going to try very high. And we're using Lenovo's built-in speakers. They sound pretty good. You can see what our frame rates are. 40 occasionally dropping down to the upper 30s so far. It's pretty darn good. Even when we shoot up some bad guys, we're keeping our frame rates at 40. Very nice for very high settings. This is a very demanding game. Certainly a beautiful looking game too. It's amazing. The textures, the quality of the illustration. Changes in ambient lighting are not dropping our frame rate. It looks just great. So that's Bioshock Infinite on the Lenovo IdeaPad Y500 with dual graphics cards. Next up, we're going to try the Asus ZenBook Prime UX31A Touch, an Ultrabook, to see what it can do. And now we're really going to do it. We're going to be crazy. We're going to test Bioshock Infinite on an Ultrabook. As you can see right here from the shiny Asus lid, this is the Asus ZenBook Prime. This happens to be the UX. This happens to be the UX31A Touch, the latest of the Asus ZenBook Ultrabooks, but the non-touch model has actually the same specs as well. So we're going to give it a go. This has Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics and a 1.7 GHz Intel Core i5 3317U Ultrabook CPU. 4 gigs of RAM, by the way. And let's go to it. And here we are in game, and you can see what our settings are. We're running at full screen, 1366 by 768 and our graphics quality is at very low, which is the lowest setting available. And let's give it a try and see how it does. And here we are in game and you can see our frame rates are at the upper 20s hitting on 30. Oh, 31 even for a minute. What excitement there, huh? But you can see occasional drops down as low as 10 or 12 for a moment, but then it pops back up. So, the upper 20s, it's not ideal, but it's doable, and that, that's great to see for a game that's this demanding and visually pleasing, even on very low settings, it's quite nice looking. Mid to upper 20s when shooting things, once in a while dropping a little bit. All in all, pretty impressive for a Core i5 Ultrabook. Again, there are a lot of Ultrabooks on the market with the exact same hardware, so you're looking at 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a Core i5, 3317U, uh, stands in just as well for several other models that are on the market right now in terms of performance. So yes, you can do it. That's Bioshock Infinite on the Asus ZenBook Prime UX31A Touch. And the fan, we can hear it going. The, the ZenBook Prime has a pretty quiet fan. Even when it's working hard, it's not too loud. But a game like this will get your fan going. Don't expect silent operation. But you never should expect silent operation from a very demanding 3D game on a PC. For the Lenovo Y500, uh, the fan actually really didn't get very loud at all. I, I'd say that it's really hard to make that machine break a sweat, so to speak. 